Hello, hello everyone. I'm trying to make another English version video. Let's see how things are going to go. You know, I don't edit my videos. An MSR, as an MSR, it will be impossible to stop, to restart. So I'm recording it the way it is. Hopefully I'll be accurate enough. And um, so in the last videos, in my We Little update, I was talking to you how I switched medication from Tecfidira to Vomerity. In this video, I'm trying to give you a quick update, a quick resume about this Vomerity. That's the presentation. It comes in a wee box. You already see the difference between these tablets and the Tecfidira kind of tablets. Tecfidira would have came in that wee booklet that you would open, you would have the night and day, the reminder for the tablets would have been more descriptive and maybe a bit more helpful. However, the new Vomerity, the new Fumarat version, so Tecfidera would have been the Dimethyl Fumarat, the Vomerity will be the Diroximal Fumarat. These ones just come in one single bottle. It will be up to you to remember how to take it morning and night. This is the dose of 231 milligrams per tablet. You will be going to this dose after having a month prior to this on 123 milligrams. So make sure you do not go straight to the full dose, even though, as I said, you can switch from Tecfidira to Vomerity, just like that, overnight or over day. The only thing you have to be cautious of, start with the small dose. It's 123 milligrams, and you should do that for a month, twice a day. That's how the Vomerity tablets look like. I hope it's clear enough. Not sure if my camera is helpful. small little tablets, easy to swallow, DRF it says, it's a wee number here, my camera mightn't be that good, it's a phone camera. So in this bottle we have the supply for one full month, it will be again up to you to remember to have it morning and night. If you think you forgot, don't worry, just take it as normal. Don't try to cover the dose by taking a double one. The main game changer between Vomerity and Tecfidira will be the manageable, the way you can manage taking the tablet from a gastric point of view, from an outside point of view, from how it will impact your day-to-day -day life because with Tecfidira we kind of had to adjust our life to the Tecfidira. We had to make sure we have big enough meals at the right times. We had to make sure we're having a break if you will. You, you are working or planning to do anything after taking the tablet uh, because of how sick would have made you shortly after even though not for a long period of time and even though not always uh, the side effect was always there. The flushing, the gastric sickness, uh, the discomfort that was given us. Now with Vomerity, all this is gone. Um, before taking it, I inquired around and a friend of mine even said to me that uh, Vomerity has changed his life. Don't believe him, don't believe me, try it yourself. If you have re relapsing, remitting, multiple sclerosis, um, you can look definitely at an option, and if you are already on Tecfidira, of switching to Vomerity. Again, it will be a kilometer long of a prospect. It will say pretty much the same thing. Be careful with that, be careful with the other one. 
mind the flashes you will get flashes but rarely and uncomparably less than you would have would take the deer out. you can see yourself but i'm guessing like any other medication they all have side effects and they all have large prospects nowadays mainly because they're translated in more uh, more languages this vomerity was released in 2019 was approved for um, uh, supports treatment for multiple sclerosis in ireland in 2022 uh, it comes from the same um, company biogen Again, the focus on my camera, it's not the best. Um, it is for oral use, it's not an injectable. The full dose, the 231, you should take it twice a day, one in the morning, one in the night. Again, another difference, uh, as I was saying, um, the gastric side effect between Tecfidira and Vomerity the fact that you no longer need big meals or be cautious or adjust your life around it, it kind of goes with your life. Uh, it can be taken with a, just as basic as coffee, tea, washer, juice, whatever you have in the morning. In the night, the same thing. Uh, if you will encounter flashes, they are uh, warned in the prospect, but as a, being a common, but in the same time, not that often side effect it could happen once in a blue moon again don't believe me you can try it uh, i did i didn't believe i tried it and it did prove to be right um, again the way i was saying in the previous video um, tecfidira would have worked by uh, immunosuppressing our uh, autoimmune system while this one works by upping the dose of antioxidants with the same aim of keeping the lesions at bay, their activity or their appearance. Um, it's a tryout. For me it works. I actually feel somewhat better. I don't know why. Maybe because of the discomfort that Tecfidera would have given me and maybe because of how easy I can manage with vomerity. It's just a throw in the bag thing. I'm not gonna take the whole booklet out. I'm not gonna pick day, night, tablet. Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? I just have this in the bag. I'll take it out, take my tablet, go on with my day. I will see, uh, I'm yet to see the best results from it. I'm, I'm on it for six, seven months now. I will have an MRI check it out um, sometime at the end of this summer and it will be probably helpful to make another video then see how things were if it kept me away from new lesions if the ones that I have are at bay with inflammation uh, that's the aim of all the treatments out there including the vomerity from the same category as the tecfidera the fumarats ones i'm not sure if my camera is hmm. okay could be <laughs> okay and um so that's the um, the short story of the long story of the new medication no rock science handier easier um, none of the treatments available now on the market are curable. None of them offer us a cure, but they all have at least the aim to keep us away from relapses, from new lesions, to keep the inflammation in, around our lesions at bay, um, and to keep us safe and give us a long quality of life uh, as possible. Of course, you have to be aware with the PMLs. You're gonna have burning sensation. I didn't have it myself. Itchy skin, I did have it. A rash, I did have it, but uncomparably, as I said. If you're thinking symptoms and side effects of Tecfidira 
let's call it rank it 10 from 1 to 10 let's call it 10 vomerity is somewhere 4 so uh, much better the same thing you have to pay attention to your proteins but then again your doctors will order bloods or if they don't you should ask your doctor to uh, check your bloods every three months hair loss i didn't experience that neither with tecfidura neither with vomerity i didn't notice in all these months any shedding of my hair more than you would on casual brush pink red blockets on the skin uh, i couldn't say i noticed that I would have said that I had maybe two, three with Tecfidera, but it didn't really bother me. Inflammation of the lining of the stomach. Oof, no. Vomiting, no. It did work quite well. But of course, again, for all the side effects, um, if you do encounter them, which they are called very rare, you should straight away uh, ring your doctor like with any other medication. So if you're on Tecfidera, if you're worried about changing medication, if you were told that changing medication will mean that you will have to be off your current medication for three months, six months, God knows how long, if you are told that new medication could be query whether it will suit you, whether you're going to be happy with, uh, if everything about the new medication becomes too confusing and too overwhelming, but you are on Tecfidera, you can ask to switch to Vomerity. I repeat, this does not uh, need a break in, in and between. You don't need a pause, you don't need to be off medication and expect the unexpected, but then what we are told that MS is an unexpected uh, MS and that relapses do come like that and lesions do show up like that, which it is true, as I said in the previous video, it did happen in my case, I had a relapse that came as the worst nightmare, just like that, in a split of a second. If I do look tired, that's because I am tired, I will try to make a video about chronic fatigue and MS. It does increase over time. I should share my experience. It might help a lot of you. That's the video for today. Was to recommend and to present Vomerity, the same class as Tecfidera, definitely a choice check with your doctor if your current gp is not aware check with your neurological consultants always check what's coming as a medical option every six months to one year there's news on the medical market check if any of them regard you or your condition regardless whether you have ms or anything else Medicine always evolves, research always evolves. There's a bunch of specialists that spend their life, their days and nights doing research. So it's worth trying, inquiring around. This medication is also approved in the Northern Ireland as well, not only in Ireland. Having said that, keep positive. Be on the search, check for options, don't be afraid to change, that's why the options are there. If it will be a curable option, we will all go for it. That single option, if it says it's gonna cure you for MS, we're gonna go for it. Meanwhile, none of them do that, so all we can do is give them a try. May God bless you all, and see you in the next video. Oh. Because so many of you do dare to text me on Messenger, on Facebook, on Selman Alexandra with X. You can click like and subscribe to this video. I was told that this will help for the video to go further. And um, if you do get to a certain number of subscribers, you get to um, have that streaming. Um, 
which means that you can live connect with everyone. God bless you all. See you all in my next video.